Hi there, it is currently the 22nd of October 2011, and today we're going to look across several basins out here in the western Pacific, also out towards Thailand, and also in the southern hemisphere you have an area in the tropics down there just around the Solomon Islands that's actually invested in these warranted of watching. But here in the western Pacific, though specifically over Japan, that's where the big area of convection is today, bringing some rain showers all across much of Honshu here. As far as the tropics, relatively quiet out there, a few areas that we continue to monitor here around Guam, but good news is that across the Philippines and out towards Vietnam, pretty decent weather out there today as high pressure settles in behind this area of low pressure moving off towards the northeast. And actually, if we pull up the surface analysis from KMA or the Korean Meteorological Agency, you can see these areas indicated in green. Well, that's indicated those rain showers across much of Korea, extending out over Honshu as this developing low starts to spin up here. Actually, a 1,007 uh, HPA low, so a pretty deep low as far as westerly lows are concerned. And also, seeing all this fog come in behind this area of low pressure, that's do some of this cold air drifting in from much of Russia here in northern China that's coming over from some of the uh, warmer surface out here and that's cold, creating that cold over warm which is creating some advection fog out here and that's why over much of China including parts of Korea you're seeing some pretty dense fog today but if we go back to the main event which is the rain you are seeing some thunderstorms all across Japan here which is indicated in the red area is just moving off the coast but also some more developing just west of Honshu and moving towards the main island but now let's look down towards Thailand where actually the southern part of the peninsula is seeing some pretty heavy rain showers out there as this monsoonal trough starts to drift a little bit farther towards the south so you're seeing a little more rain in Singapore as well and also out towards Phuket which is right about in this location here you're seeing some pretty heavy rain showers good news it's starting to move away from Bangkok though it's really uh, threatened up there as far as flooding you're still seeing some water come down the river up here towards the city which means that some of the river levels could still crest a little bit higher but the good news looks like that overall trough is starting to drift a little bit farther towards the south and this is pretty apparent if we look at the overall rainfall produced by the trim satellite here for the past week you see the monsoonal trough really the thickest here just around the southern part of the peninsula extending out across Singapore and parts of Indonesia that's because that monsoonal trough is pushing a little bit farther towards the south here due to the high pressure coming in out of China. You see some areas in red here as well across much of Burma. That was due to the Tropical Depression 02B that moved on shore earlier in the week. And also you have some areas of low pressure to continue to form up here just around the Ryukyu Islands and move up towards the northeast and that's why you see that big area in red as well. But really, good news, looks like that monsoonal trough is starting to subside and that is going to bring a little bit of relief out there to much of Thailand. Definitely in the coming weeks and by the early part of November really should shut off completely the most of that southwest monsoon. But let's look away from much of the northern hemisphere here and check down here. Look at the monsoonal trough starting to develop over much of the Solomon Islands here extending out towards New Caledonia. Well that is producing an invest currently. That is 92p out here just extending all the way across much of the Solomon Islands really starting all the way out towards New Britain out here extending all the way down towards New Caledonia. It's this whole area area of convection in here and that does warrant a little bit of watching here. It is located south of 10 degrees south so it does have the Coriolis, has a lot of good circulation winter right now. There's a little wind shear coming in off the coast and actually if you pull off the wind shear chart you can see some of these numbers upwards of 30 to 40 knots of wind shear as it moves basically off the coast here towards the east and that's really knocking a lot of it off on the western periphery. You see down here towards the south actually some numbers up near 90 degree or 90 knots and that's mainly due to much of the westerly still persisting fairly strongly down here across southern Australia and out towards New Zealand where you're still seeing a lot of westerly lows actually one coming across southern Australia right now producing a lot of rain showers out there but as far as the tropics this is still warrants some watching out here I do not think it's going to develop and actually a pretty low chance of developing here right now but it is located under about five to ten knots of wind shear currently which is indicated by some of these numbers out here and that is allowing it to develop for the time being and bring some fairly heavy rain showers out across that region. But for the time being, though, the Bureau of Meteorology does not expect anything to develop as well, as well as the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Yet it does warrant some watching out here. But this is just looking at the next two days from the Bureau, just showing those westerly lows still persisting across much of southern Australia. But it is starting to work its way towards the south. And with that monsoonal trough increasing in strength, it does indicate that cyclone season is just around the corner out here. 
But that is all for right now. I do want to thank you for watching these updates. I know it is very spread out at this time, but if some severe weather is forecasted to occur in any of these regions, I will definitely zoom in on that exact location, except, especially if a typhoon or a cyclone develops out here. But we continue to watch all these areas for the time being, you know, especially across Thailand where we continue to see those heavy floodings in those locations. And as always, please stay safe out there, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions as well, post them in the comment box below and have a great day.